Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're here. So this is where we were starting to look for all the quests. Along this main thoroughfare. You guys always have quests. When do you not have quests? But there are fewer excavation points in this part of the city. Town, which is nice. Okay, Jai, what have you got for me? It's a long time since I was last at the Chingsa village. Little Liu, daddy misses you so much. Why does your child live in Tinsa village while you live in the city? That makes literally no sense. Is everything all right? How was your travel out? Thanks for your concern. Nothing's wrong. I just miss my daughter. Again, why is she not living with you? I told her that once the shift ended, I'd take leave to spend some time with her for a few days at Tinsa village. Are uh, you part, uh, divorced from her mother? Uh, that presupposes you married. Are you separated from her mother? That again assumes that you were together. God, so many assumptions you can make here. But who knew that such a huge thing would suddenly happen in Liu Harbour? Not only was every soldier on leave recalled, but everyone at their post has already has also had their leave cancelled. Is this leftover from like the Archon quest or is there something new that's happened? Now we have to man our stations all day. Forget taking leave. I need to find someone who can take over my post even if I want to get a sip of water. I'd prepare my gifts too. A huge bag of toys. But what shall I do with it now? That's right. Traveller, could I ask you to bring these toys to my daughter? Little Liu, she stays at Jing's village. If you ask Granny Vyosin, you're sure to find her. <sighs> Lay it on me, bro. Why not? Thank you, thank you so much. It's fine. Day's gift. Will of Stone. Guess we'll go find Granny Vyosin. We should be teleport right next to her joint. Granny! Oh, where is that child went off to? Oh, that's great. I was told you could tell me exactly where the child was and now you tell me she's missing. That'd be alright. Can you tell me? Nope. Can I ask about little Liu? Are you looking for her? What perfectly terrible timing. I don't know where she's gone. You're a deplorable uh, babysitter. She received a letter that her father asked someone to send over from Liu a harbour that stated that he'd be back soon. Little Liu was so happy. She said she wanted to prepare a gift for her father and roped some other children into picking fruits and flowers. But a few days afterward, he sent word saying that he had a last minute assignment and wouldn't be able to return. How has he had time to send a letter and have it arrived before he sends me here? Wouldn't I have gotten here quicker? She threw a tantrum and nothing we said could dissuade her from insisting that she would go to Liu Harbor herself since her father wasn't coming. Oh good! You're telling me she's dead! That's great. Let's pack up and go. <laughs> We thought it was a joke for a while, but this morning she was gone. We've already sent people out to look for her, but if you're willing, you could join in as well. Who just sent? This is a town full of old people. Um, I'll give it a go. Where do you think she's headed? The harbour, obviously. I doubt she could go far. She's probably... How old is little Liu, by the way? Oh, I'm going to assume her name is Xiao Liu. Uh, she's probably still close by, but the wilds are a dangerous place. Please, find her quickly. <sighs> okay. Find Xiao Yu. Damn, she got far. Nice work, kid. Xiao Yu. I'm going to take care of these guys, aren't I? Because I'm about to hit them. Oh, that's where we have to go anyway. Ow! The night is cold. Stars shut. Yoo hoo! Barbados, guide us. Hazard. I've antagonized these slimes. I have to take care of them too. Oh, and this guy over here. Get out of it, bro. What is with your accuracy, Yomiya? You missed like three of those shots. What the absolute hell? What is this? Have I already done something with it? Is that why it's glowing angrily at me? And what are these guys? I don't even know what this place is. If I want to guess, Pamon would say that these berries completely missed that. Child, where are you? We must hurry and find it. Yeah, well, I mean, if you can point me in a direction, Pamon, I'm all ears. No idea what that is. Um, I'm not seeing any other arrows. 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 I've got nothing. 
Hey, little buddy. Where we came from. Thank you. Um, I don't really. I don't see any other lines, arrows, yellow things. And this is the end of the path that she would have taken. I have. I don't see it. Is she in here for any reason? Oh. No, but I can come here for a reason. What do we have yes. here? Loot. That's what that is. Going that way is out of the circle. And so it's going that way. It's also out of the circle. <sighs> no, I'm just going outside the circle as well. No, I'll go around. This is such a stupid quest. Hello? Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's get off that though. It's not really going to work for me. Yoo-hoo! Staircase leads to little. Oh no, it leads up. But how are you supposed to get onto the staircase? Oh no, no, it definitely doesn't lead up. <laughs> what a weird place. Okay, well, anyway, she's not here. Which is really all I was trying to do. And that's everywhere. Digging for. Ooh, will we find any firework materials in here? What? There she is. Let's go save her. Am I the only one who doesn't see her? Oh, all the way fucking back there. The night is As cold. if it's anyone's nice. gonna see that. Bullshit. <laughs> what utter bullshit. the hell am I supposed to see that small child's face when you're down here? I <laughs> How am I supposed to have seen that? I call bullshit. Look at it. Can't even see the kid. Are you here to catch me and take me back to Chingsa Village? Yes. She's worried sick about you. So you are here to catch me. Well, I'm not going back. Well, I don't need your permission to take you back, Shard. I can just knock you out, sling you over my shoulder, and take you there myself. 
Go back and tell the villagers that I'm going to leave a harbor to look for daddy. I sort of know why you don't live together, but guess what? It's not my problem. Uh, they don't have to worry. Once I find him, I'll just talk to him for a while, then I'll come back. Bloody children. I hate children. Can we just knock some sense into her? No? Okay. Yes, and by knock some sense, I mean shoot her in the back of the head. Seems appropriate. Is there any reason we can't just, you know, tie her up, hog tie her and drag her back to town? Yeah. Why are we just, why are we just letting her have her way? Like some spoiled brat. And how is it that she's magically not getting attacked by healer gels? This is really unfair. Come on, just hit the child. It's no more than she deserves. Sorry, no less than she deserves. Cool, great. Let me just go take this clusterfuck that you've created. You're welcome. Happy child. What are you following me for anyway? I said I'm going to Leary Harbour. I'll get around these monsters myself. They won't find me. Don't treat me like a kid. I'm a grown up now, bitch. You're like eight. Don't even tempt me. This is from your father. From daddy? Did he ask you to send it over? I'm sure it's more things for children to play with. If it's not kites, it's dolls. You don't like them? I do. It's something daddy gave me. How could I not like it? Then why are you so disparaging about them? what they could be? But if I always like these things, doesn't that mean that I'll always be a kid? Not true. Kites and dolls technically aren't exclusive for children, just the style matures. If I keep playing with them, when will I become an adventurer or get my own vision? Uh, you become an adventurer when you become of age, child, and you're probably not going to get your own vision because the percentage of the population that actually have visions is really small. What did you want a vision for again? If I had a vision, I'd be able to do so many things, whether it be making money or something else. Oh, you want a crutch in life that can just help you just get rich quicker. Wow. Then daddy wouldn't have to work in Leeward Harbour all the time. How could he come back? He could come back and spend time with me. Right now, I can't even go to Leeward Harbour myself without a vision. I feel like I'm not going to help you, kid. But since daddy has already sent you here with his presence, I might just be giving him more trouble by going to look for him. I'm glad you bloody realize it. And what about him? What about Granny Rostian? Do you not care about the trouble you're bringing to her? Selfish child. I had presents ready for him too. I wanted to give him a surprise, but I can't take them to him now. If only someone could help me do that. It's all right. I'm going back. There's no need to follow me. I know the way home. There are monsters between you and home, child. Not that I wanted to accompany you anyway, but it's not safe. Talk to Jiayu. Jiayu, your child sucks, but so do you for leaving your child in a place without you. Or a mother, seemingly. She literally has no relatives in Qingxia. Why the hell is she in Qingxia? Why isn't she living here with you, you dick? Have you handed the presents to Lulu yet? Um, she'd prefer it if you were home. I want to go back too. We'll leave Harbour in this state. I don't think it's possible for the time being. Still, thank you so much. I hope those presents will improve her mood a bit. They're our favourites after all. Please, take this as thanks. Was I supposed to go back to Tingsa? Maybe. Because there was an icon for it and I've just abandoned it. Oh well. Done now. You need to work on your parenting skills, sir. Because they're abysmal. Where else do we have quests? I think I got most of the ones down here, didn't I? Crack goes my shoulder. I think it's all the ones in the next section down I haven't done. Yeah, these all seem. I'm gonna go down to the harbour just to make sure. But these all seem to have been done. Last time I was doing my Lewin rounds. made a noise but there's no quest on my map. What should I try this time? Try None here. Come. Come 
I can't believe the well got polluted. Yinga. Shacking up with, um, with, with, with. Toss with tea. The uh, alchemist lately? Adventurer. Think you can last around against me? There was one down on this harbor, wasn't there? Yeah, there. Up, up and away! It's Atsuko! I wonder how Mama's doing and Dad as well. Oh, Traveller, what are you doing here? I remember you asked me how to go to Inazuma last time. I've been to Inazuma. You did go, and you managed to come back. That means you can go back, Atsuko. You live up to your reputation as a warrior. Your abilities are far beyond those of ordinary folk like me. All right, if you don't mind, can you do me a favor? Is anything bothering you? When I left Inazuma, I left without saying goodbye. Ever since I was little, I've longed for the world outside of Inazuma. Can't blame me for that. I like to travel, and I disliked being controlled by my parents. After they issued the Vision Hunt Decree, the atmosphere in Inazuma became increasingly suffocating. That's why I decided to leave my hometown. When I came to Leo, I managed to find a way to survive, but I couldn't find someone whom I could rely on to send a message to my family back home. Could I ask you a favor? Could you help me deliver a letter to my parents? Sure. Thank you. Well, I'll leave the letter to you. By the way, my father's name is Yo, and my mother's name is Michiru. I'll mark the address on your map for you. After leaving my hometown, I've experienced a lot. Now I know that if my parents... Whoop, that's the next line. If I want to become an independent and strong woman, I can't just rely on my parents like before. I've decided that I won't go back to my hometown in the near future. If I encounter any difficulties outside, I will face them by myself. I think my parents would be proud if I can do that. I also wrote about the things I'm determined to do in the letter, so please take it to my parents. Okay. That's God's letter. So Home lovely. lies over the ocean. In Azuma. So her parents live in the city. Okay. I'm using the word city very loosely. It's like a settlement, a tiny town. It's not even a big town. Yo, meet you do. Hi. God, you don't look that old. How many dishes should we make for lunch tomorrow? Our kids can eat a lot these days. Let's just cook more. How many kids do you have? Hmm, who might you be? May I ask if this is Asko's house? Yes, we are. That's not what I asked. What can I do for you? Asko asked me to bring you this letter. Letter? Why would that child suddenly want to write a letter to us? Letter is quite long. I mean, she's back at home already, so if she wants to say something, she should just say it to us directly. Pardon? Traveller, it sounds like you're surprised. It's true that Atsuko was travelling abroad before, but she's come back now. Either you have an imposter in your home, or you're both very sick. Why does she want to send a letter to us when she's already back home with us? Did you mistake us for someone else? Wait a minute, dear. I had a brief scan of the letter. The handwriting and the way it's written is definitely from our daughter. The letter also says that she doesn't plan to come back in the near future and tells us to take care of ourselves. What does this all mean? Could it be that she came back on her own while getting this traveller to deliver this letter back to us? I feel there might be a misunderstanding. After that child comes home, we'll ask her. Unfortunately, Atsuko had matters to attend to today. After she's back, we'll ask for clarification. If it's okay with you, please find us tomorrow evening. We'll get that child to explain everything to you. Why in the evening? Where is she now? That child says she's busy working. After breakfast, she left the house in a hurry. Yeah, every day she leaves early and comes back late. We only get to see her in the evening, so we aren't sure what she's really up to. Suspicious. Anyway, please come over tomorrow evening. If that child has done something wrong, we'll make sure she apologizes to you in person. Really sorry that you had to travel such a long way. But that's go. If only she was more well behaved. I am so confused. I don't remember what time it said. Sure, it sounds like a good time. Did they say this evening or tomorrow is the evening? I don't know. We're about to find out. If I went to the right time, that is. Ooh, it's very bright here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Got nothing else to do. Why do what the hell is this about? 
That's because you'll be back now. Let's knock on the door. They seem to be talking about something. Let's listen in. That being said, I wonder what happened to the tanuki that we rescued before. Is it a tanuki wreaking havoc on them? You're too kind. The tanuki only had a minor scrape on its leg. If you let it be in the bushes, it would recover by itself. I couldn't help it. It was looking at me with tears in its eyes. It looked very pitiful. My conscience just wouldn't let me. Forget it. It's never wrong to do good deeds. It's just that it ate a bit too much, nearly as much as me. Who is it? I'm the traveler that came here before. I remember you. Please wait here. What do you mean you remember me? Bro, I was here like two seconds ago. Asuka's family come out. Hello, I'm Atsuko. First, no, nice to meet you again. Sorry, I was homesick. After I gave you the letter, I changed my mind and took a ship back to Inazuma. Yeah, something's fishy here. <laughs> Sorry for not clarifying things before and making you travel so far. How did you return to Inazuma? Ah, uh, I had my ways. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Um, I prepared the payment for you. Please take it. Thanks for your help. Hurry, uh, hurry up and go about the rest of your day. How come the things that Atsuko are telling us now are different from what it was before? If returning to Inazuma was so easy, why did you ask us for help in the first place? What happened? What about your mansion? Mansion? What? I even had a mansion on Liyue? Uh, that kind of stuff is unimportant. Nothing is more important than family. I already entrusted it all to someone else. <laughs> Bitch, I just caught you out on a lie. Hang on, the real Atsuko had trouble finding a job on Liyue. There's no way she'd suddenly become rich. Who are you? I'm Atsuko, of course. I look like Atsuko and sound like Atsuko. What's there to be suspicious about? <laughs> Who says that when they're impersonating somebody? Look here, stop being so persistent. Forget it. I won't talk to you anymore. I've got work tomorrow. I'm heading off now. So now I've got to get the real Atsuko to come back and prove that she's an imposter. That is so not going to end well for Atsuko. Atsuko leaves in a fit of rage. I would put Atsuko in quotation marks, personally. Since we know it's not really her. Atsuko, that child. Why did she get angry all of a sudden? Sorry about that, Traveller. That child must be too tired from her work. But you saw her for yourselves. That's our daughter. That letter. Maybe that child forgot about it. But in any case, we'd still like to thank you for the trouble you went through. As for the payment, would you be able to wait a little longer? Is there anything wrong? Nothing of that sort. We can still afford the payment. You know how we told you that Atsuko goes to work during the day? The payment that she receives has always been strange. She always brings back weird seeds, some wild fruits, but she never brings back Mora. Even though the things like that do have some value, we have to sell them first. For a trip like you, it gets Mora would be more convenient. Please come here again tomorrow. By then, we should be able to give you the Mora. Can we not just go back to Liyue and speak to Atsuko? You just said tomorrow, you didn't say what time. Bright and early. 5 a.m. Love it. Where did our daughter run off to? Has Atsuko gone off to work again? Even if she's working the next day, Atsuko usually says something to us before leaving, but today she left without saying anything. After you left yesterday, Atsuko said she was tired and went straight to her room to sleep. By the time we got up the next day, she wasn't in bed anymore. We tried looking everywhere for her. My husband searched far and wide. However, even after half a day, we still couldn't find any traces of our daughter. It hasn't even been half a day since I last spoke to you. Did that child go off on another journey again? What a troublesome child. Calm down, dear. I'll look for her again. Please sweep Atsuko's room first. After that child left, she didn't close the window properly. A little leaves blew into the room. Before I forget, here's the payment. Please take it. A child, Atsuko. Where is she off to this time? What the hell is happening? Um... Real Atsuko? Shit's getting real over here. I don't fully understand it myself. Oh god, I don't even remember where I found her. I went the back way and I don't know how to get there again. Excuse me, sir. Uh, maybe we gotta just go down to the docks here. Let's go! Uh, this does not look right. This way. Yeah, down here. Right? Is where it's going normally is? Uh, no, I don't see her. Am I in the wrong spot? I swear she's normally here. Isn't she? One well, hi, have you seen that score? Uh, bye. 
Maybe this wasn't the right harbour? Maybe she... No, because the, that's the building there. And I know I came across to here. Hmm... I swear this is it. Am I losing my marbles? Wait a day. And then I'm gonna have to Google it to find out where the follow up to the story is. Or if time's passed, maybe I just go back to her parents. Maybe I just had to wait a day before I went and saw them again. Yeah, she's definitely not here. I assume this is where I found her. Maybe, maybe this isn't it. Hmm. Which way did I come from? I went along there. I was just following the mini map. I actually wasn't paying attention to where it was actively going. Hmm. I was determined to cut through and failed. Hmm. Where the hell was I? What if I just follow the same path? Let's go do that. But again, I was looking at the mini-map. I wasn't paying attention to where I actually was. Ugh. So I went down here. Everything was fine. We went down there to make sure it was fine. And it was. So we came this way. Went across this path here. Now there's somebody here with a quest. Wait, I wasn't there before. <laughs> Isn't that little Lou? Oh. Nope, they all just look the same. Okay, well, we'll come back. So I would have come up here, but then where did I go from here? Again, I was looking at the mini map. I wasn't paying that close attention to where I was going. I don't remember cutting in this way. Again, I was looking at the mini-map. The mini-map was taking me where I needed to go. Oh, that's why I came here past a Yinge. Look again, it was night time when I came this way, all right? And then I went this way. And yeah, then I flew down to the docks. I went down this way and then there she was. Okay, so she is definitely not here. Fine, I'm going back to Inazuma. Gonna go see these foolish parents of hers. Here they are. I've been waiting for so long, our daughter has finally returned home. Well, you look happy. Our daughter's returned. Of course, I, her mother, am happy, aren't you? Of course I am, but you need to stop pulling her aside to tell her all sorts of things. She'll get sick of it. Atsuko's been gone so long. There's so much I want to talk to her about. Well, keep talking then. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? That she might leave once she tires of your yanking? Ha! Don't you try to scare me. I've already thought it all through. Since she likes exploring so much, we should just let her. All I ask is that she sends us letters to tell us how she's doing. I mean, it will still get a little lonely when she's not around. Come on, you still have me. Ha! As if that's the same thing. So it's just generic dialogue. It has nothing to do with what we just did. I need to find the real Atsuko! God. Damn it! Make me Google. Uh, apparently you can meet at Scott here somewhere. Actually, I probably should have paid more attention to the map. I don't bloody know. She's over here somewhere. She actually came back to Inazuma, though why? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, here she is. Is this actual at Scott or is this fake at Scott? You can bloody tell. I mean, again, it's great to see you here in Inazuma. Why are you in Inazuma? You've returned home? Question mark. 
I heard from the Crux, blah, Crux Fleets of Sailors that the Almighty Shogun has abolished its Sokoku degree. Didn't I tell you that at some point in time? No? Okay. So I thought to myself, maybe the samurai at the police station might give me a pass and let me return home. So I boarded a ship bound for Inazuma. I found upon my return that many things have changed. But the biggest change was, well, my parents had aged a lot. They had been concerned for my safety this whole time. Still, they were all smiles when they greeted me. That was something that didn't change. That's why I've decided to stay for a while longer to accompany them. So she's just been guilted by her family to stay, okay. Um, still want to travel the world? Yeah, you remember that? Thanks for the concern. I'm still serious about that dream. I'm sure you understand me as only a fellow traveler could. Now that Inazuma's policies have changed so much, going out to travel is no longer such an arduous task. So if a suitable opportunity comes along, I'll continue my journey. But what about the fake Atsuko? For now, I'll continue to stay with my parents. We get to mention it? No? I wish you the best of luck. Though this has been quite the bumpy ride, it does not seem so hard while freedom yet stirs in my heart. I hope that your future journeys will go smoothly as well. We don't even mention the fake Atsuko? Hi. Previously, we would only meet in Leaver Harbor. I never expected that I would run to you here again, yet in the middle of freaking nowhere off the beaten path. It seems that you travel between nations quite frequently. It's very impressive. Ah, there you go. Have you heard about that other you? Oh, you mean the one who was staying with my parents at one point? Um, how should I put it? It's such a strange story. That said, I'd love to meet her if I have the chance. Who knows, she might be able to help me out a bit. What did I just read? A Tanuki goes into your home and impersonates you and you're all, wish I could meet them, maybe they can help. <laughs> what? This is such a baffling end of the quest. I don't even know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I really don't. What a strange end. I wish we could have gone to, uh, to Leo and spoken to her after the quest ended. That's just such a strange, abrupt end. Okay. That's just awkward. I'm going to get my rewards, though, for doing those. So we finished two quests, so it should be two rewards we get from... I don't remember her name. Catherine? What was her name? Miss you. That's the one. Okay. Oh, I only did one. Wait. The Atsuka one doesn't count? The Atsuka quest doesn't count? Oh, it's going to count for Inazuma. Random, but okay. But I picked up the quest in Liyue, damn it. Yeah. Considered an Inazuman one. Fine, whatever. We still completed two quests, and I'm happy about that.